Hello, everybody. It's me, Carmine Stefano, the Bookman. And welcome to the second part of two weeks of Halloween. In 2003, Sony Pictures decided to release a movie about a blood feud involving vampires and werewolves. That movie was called Underworld. And three years later in 2006 was the sequel to that first movie called Underworld Evolution. By the beginning of this year, 2009, they decided to give us Underworld fans the story leading up to those two movies. That was the prequel known as Underworld Rise of the Lycans. Now this movie answered some questions like why was the original werewolf William Spawn not able to revert back to their human form yet Lucian and his people in Underworld, the first movie, could. We also wanted to see how Sonya's and Lucian's relationship led to their fate and the beginning of the war itself. So, let's take a look at this movie, shall we? The movie starts off telling us the story about the vampires and werewolves warring. Among the original William Spawn, there was a human baby born. And Victor, one of the head vampires, decided to spare his life. He then grows into Lucian, a rather gifted child, who not only has immortality and a whole bunch of other great skills, also able to change from human to werewolf whenever he sees fit. Because of this, Victor orders him to make other werewolves just like him so they can patrol the castle and protect the vampires. Now, some years later, William spawns still attacking the vampires. With the help of the Lycans, like Lucian, they're able to save such important vampires as Victor's daughter Sonia, played by Rona Mitre. And the answer is... Yes, I would! <laughs> now, Lucian and Sonia's relationship seems rocky at first, so I guess it's kind of an interlude to the... Ooh. Well, maybe not. When they... Whoa. And... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. After they express their feelings, Lucian introduces the idea that he's going to escape, not wanting to be a slave for Victor anymore. But Sonya begs him not to leave, and because of her, he stays. However, Tannis, that little jackass, finds out what's going on between the two. Later on, the nobles of Victor's town visit his castle, but are attacked by werewolves. Sonya tries to help, but she's ambushed and overwhelmed. Lucian then protects her, showing his werewolf form to everybody, including William's kind, and controls the situation. So what does he get for that good deed? He gets shot with arrows and whipped. And owly shoo ho I guess no good deed goes unrewarded. <laughs> Lucien is then sent to the dungeons where he first meets Ray's, pre-werewolf form, played by Kevin Gravall, who actually helped write the script of these movies, in case you're wondering. It's also here in the dungeons that Lucien tells Sonya to make a deal with Tannis to aid his escape. Later on, the other nobles in town pay tribute to Victor in silver. That's how vampires get all their money. Apparently, they won't deal with him anymore because this guy, I'll tell you. This place is cursed! Grandpa, you said that about all the presents. I just want attention. So Victor, not agreeing with him, decides to do that. That's what happens when you don't agree with Victor. So agree with him. Please. Meanwhile, Lucian's down in the dungeons, rallying up the troops to get them to leave with him. Sonya then meets with Tannis and makes a deal with him to get the escape to happen. She then tells Lucian that her father is planning to kill him, so he better get the flock out of there ASAP. So he leaves by that, then he... Are you with me? Okay, just please don't kill me. So they fight through the vampires, and they get to this point where they have to... Shh, be very quiet. You idiot! Now they really gotta run. So they try to escape, but the vampires have these really cool ballistas and are basically running amok. They trap most of them, so only a few can escape. However, Lucian's not done. He then gets a bunch of other servants to go along with him and be a part of his werewolf army. But that's not all. He controls the werewolves of William to 
I fight alongside him and his lichens as well. During all this, Sonya's alibi seems to be set in check until her father, Victor, makes an appearance. Now let's to find out what's been going on. And he's not too happy about it. I knew it could not be true, not my own daughter. I got you! <laughs> you gotta love Bill Nye. He's so over the top, it's great! Lucian then finds out that Sonya's been arrested, so he goes back to the castle to help break her out of there. They try to escape through the tunnels they use during their rendezvous, but they find out that they're screwed. So they jump right into action and fight off the vampires. Sonya then has a standoff with Victor. I am your father! Eh, so what? I've seen it happen before. <laughs> At the end of the battle, she reveals to Victor that she's pregnant with Lucian's child, a hybrid, a vampire and werewolf. Victor's not too happy about that, so he imprisons them both. And this is where Lucian delivers the greatest line in cinema history. I'll kill you! All of you! Yes! I have to use that consistently. Sonia is then brought in front of the Elder Council for her trial in front of Lucian. And there they find her guilty. So they sentence her to death via sunlight. And I'm sure all the world fans have recognized this part. Lucian gets really angry, fends off Victor, and takes the charm we're all again familiar with. He wants to escape, but he's attacked, so then he howls for reinforcements, and they come charging right in. And thus the battle ensues. Now throughout this battle between werewolves and vampires, Lucian sets his sights on Victor. At the end of the battle, they engage in one of the greatest sequences in cinema history. I should have punished you under my heel the day you were born. Yes, you should have, but you didn't. So in the end, the werewolves take the castle, and Victor is brought on his ship to his sarcophagus, where he's going to sleep for a little bit. So what do I think of the movie? I thought it was excellent. The best of the three and the other two were really good as well. It did explain a lot and it seamlessly moved into the first movie and then the second movie. We found out a lot of things about this storyline from this movie and none of it seemed forced or contrived. It seemed as though this was the first one written and the other two kind of carried on from here. I am very interested in seeing what the next one will bring if there is a next one. Maybe it'll be a sequel to the first two or a sequel to this one. If you're confused, so am I. So it's okay. But I thank you all for watching. I have more for you soon to come. So stay tuned, take care, and have a great day.